Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I am your host, Tiffany Daniels. Now, we are going to that awful place of horrors known as the JRC. And this morning, we're going to take a look at some of the Kool-Aid they like to spill in order to get all the parent support that they do. Yes, this is the trailer for their documentary that was put together by the JRC Parent Association. Now, before we get into this, just a few things. First of all, you will find the link to this video as well as other pertinent links to shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition and all the shut the down bleh. I can't talk. <clears throat> Stop the Shocks campaign pertinent links as well. Now, I think it is important to go over some of the propaganda that this place puts out. And why do I think that that's a good idea? And why do I think that's important? Because we need to understand how it is that these people manage to capture so much support. There's corruption, of course, but there are true believers, and those true believers with no compensation will go out of their way to try to convince others. Of course, bringing in more money for the JRC with free publicity they don't even have to pay for. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of that propaganda. This is going to be the trailer for the Judge Rotenberg Center. We're going to take a look at a few other pieces as well. Now, before we get started with this trailer, I want you to close your eyes and just for one second, forget everything you know, everything I have already told you about the JRC. Imagine you've never heard anything about this organization. And then I am, once you close your eyes and you get that in your head, we are going to go ahead and play this. And then once we kind of go through the different pieces of propaganda, I would like you to let me know in the comments. If you did not know better, would this convince you to possibly send your own kids to such a school? All right, so without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. But, disclaimer folks, when we are talking about the Judge Rotenberg Center, you will hear vivid descriptions of and see actual video footage of people with disabilities being abused and tortured. If you have young ones present, please wear your headphones. Okay, without further ado, and I will try not to stop and rant, but no promises. I hate this school. Let's go ahead and get going. All right, this is the trailer. Okay, that's interesting. I have to stop it because you notice, excuse me one second. Did you notice that in this video, you don't see any of these students wearing their GEDs. If this school believes so heartily in the electric skin painful skin shocks that they are using, so much so that they believe it should be used in every school, why in this particular video do we see the interesting absence of the devices? Interesting. Ah, uh, there's the backpack.
So from this little trailer, it looks to me <clears throat> what they're trying to convince you of is that this is just another ordinary school for kids with disabilities. There is a complete absence of the GED devices that they are so proud of. You only see the staff acting, quote unquote, lovingly towards the residents. There is a lack of a lot of things in this particular video. See, Cheryl McCollins has said it back in 2012. When parents are being courted, for lack of a better term, by this school, they're not going to show you what it is they actually do. They're going to show you things like this. They're going to show you smiling faces. They're going to show you what looks like fun, normal, regular kid activities. Let's forget the fact that, um, we're not normal. God, I could go on that ramp for, like, hours, but we won't go there. You notice with this propaganda that they are showing here that all they want you to see is that, oh, well, this place looks completely harmless. Look at those smiling kids. The support workers look like they really care about that kid. Oh, look, they're giving that kid a birthday party. Interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> this is the image that the JRC's Parent Association and the JRC want you to see, where everything looks quote-unquote normal and on the up and up. Now, let's take a look at some other pieces of propaganda that this place has. Okay. Now this is the Judge Rotenberg Center's Twitter page. And look, already, with those, God, God. I don't know if it's the autism in me or just the graphic design artist in me, <clears throat> but the, that garish coloring as a backdrop just kind of makes me want to vomit a little bit. I'm going to have to scroll past that. I'd rather my eyes not bleed. Moving on, but yes, you have here an, a pin tweet that's one of the videos we have already looked at on this channel. You have them working with making tie-dyed short shirts. That seems completely normal and fun, right? Not if you're an autistic, it isn't. Now, that it depends on where you are because... Let's face it, not everyone on the spectrum is the same. But imagine all the sensory that goes on that is involved with doing tie-dyed t-shirts. Water. The ink. I have a problem with getting, like, dirt or ink or anything on my hands. Drives me nuts. Drives me batshit insane. So, doing things like this... Where you have the possibility of getting that on your hands. Don't even get me started on my fun times with latex. Yes, I've worked in the fast food industry. No, every time I took those gloves off, my hands were bright freaking red. Just saying. Let's take a look at some of the other things that they do to try and convince you. Oh, look at this. Smiling faces. We graduated occupational therapy. But what I find very interesting is this kid's eyes. What do I mean? Let's get a close-up. Does that look like an actually happy kid to you? That looks like one of the most forced 
smiles I have ever seen. Look at those eyes. Does he really look happy? That smile is not reaching his eyes. And look at her. Like she's trying to look all sweet and kind. But I don't get that from her eyes. I get this this coldness, almost deadness. This picture disturbs me. I'm actually surprised they put that on here as part of their propaganda. This picture tells me all I need to know that this is a facade. This is a lie. And just looking at these two, looking in their eyes can tell me that. Of course, they do the birthday blast. They're like, look, look, all these kids look happy. Do they really, though? How many of those smiles look forced to you? Remember Jennifer Mosumba's TikTok video that I showed you yesterday where she said that she was forced to smile? Look at these pictures here. Tell me, what do you see? What does it say to you? I do appreciate this guy doesn't even try. This guy is like, no, I'm not going to sit here and lie for you people. <clears throat> and they do these so-called happy faces. But to me, none of these faces look actually happy. Not these two. This guy looks pretty happy. But these two, it looks very forced. I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing details into it because I know what I know. Remember, we're supposed to suspend disbelief here. Look, there you go. You have her all dolled up, and does she really look happy to you? She doesn't look very happy to me. A lot of these look extremely, extremely forced. They want to show you all that they do for the kids. They want to show you these smiles. They want to you to believe these kids are doing fine, and it's because of their hard work that they're happy and free from self-injurious behavior, right? But that's not what these smiles and these eyes tell me. They tell me a deeper story, which tells me also that people are only seeing what they want to see when they look at these pages. They're not looking deeper. They see that smile and they don't care whether it's actually reaching their eyes or not. Look at how that looks. It does. It looks forced. These are also very ableist images. So why do I think they're ableist? Because it depicts some of these people, some of them who are young adults, as though they are children. Those balloons that they were showing, for example. Did you see that? Those balloons, for example, is some of what I'm talking about here. These kids, some of them are 18, 19, 20 years old. Do you really think that for those types of birthdays, they want the same balloons and cake that they got when they were five? Would you? There's something very patronizing about it. And it's hardly JRC that's the only one that does this, by the way. I've seen this in a lot of day schools, even out in this area. They're getting better incrementally, and they're definitely a downright progressive in comparison with this school. 
but there's still that sense of condescension, that patronizing look at things where you're looking at them as children, people who are young adults, and you're giving them birthday parties that a five-year-old would appreciate, not a grown young adult. But I digress. In my area, they still have freaking adult proms held for people with disabilities, which still makes me want to choke and throw up. So this is some of the propaganda. <clears throat> this is the things that they use in order to convince parents that this is going to be a good, loving environment for their children to be able to learn and get over their self-injurious behaviors and not be drugged out of their minds, that they are going to be able to enjoy life free of constant self-harming and aggression. But in all of these pictures that they show you, do you see anywhere the GED devices that they use in order to shock these kids? Nowhere in sight. Do you see any mention of the controversy at all? Do they even try to so much as defend themselves here? No. No, they don't. They try to act like the controversy doesn't even exist at all. It's all very, very interesting. <clears throat> that propaganda, those forced smiles. And it's, it's, okay, unsuspend your disbelief. Honest question. Looking at this propaganda, looking at that trailer, would you, if you are a parent or thinking about becoming one someday, if you saw all this and you had no idea what happened behind the closed doors of this place, would you believe that what I have shown you, what we have actual video footage of, would you believe that this was anything other than another, uh, oh my God, I hate using this word, but would you think it any other than a place for children, a school for children with special needs? God, I hate that word. May it die in a fire, Yakishinu. More than likely, if you did nothing more than a brief glance, and listen to their people who were telling you about the place, and you did the quick tour without looking any deeper? No, you wouldn't think it was anything but a loving place that would only use the shops when absolutely necessary. But, ah, uh, we know better, don't we? In fact, Jennifer Masamba saying doing things like this was actually pretty normal. And that you were forced to smile. Because guess what? What you don't see in that picture is a person standing about five feet back with a remote control with the picture of their face on the remote. Smile or L. Smile or. Smile or. But anyways, I definitely think it is always interesting to look at the image that they are trying to convey as opposed to what they actually are. For those who watch for my other content, this reminds us of a certain someone, doesn't it, boys and girls? I'm not going to say any names. A-H. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. So... All right, folks, I'm going to close out. Let me know what you think in the comments at what you've seen. Let me know that had you not known all the things I've been telling you about this school that I have shown through court-backed 
evidence and documents, testimonies, independent investigations, and what have you. Had you not known all of that in advance and saw these, would this have convinced you to believe that a child would be safe in these people's care? That a young adult would be safe in these people's care? Let me know how you feel in the comments. All right, folks, we don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So, folks, please don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this morning. And as always, folks, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.